Hey there, just finished a playthrough, uh, Spider-Man vs. The Claw, and now I'm going to talk about something I got, which is my Captain America hero deck, which I'm excited about, right? So let's talk about the cards that are in the deck. Okay, so the first off is down here. We'll see how that looks. All right, so Steve Rogers doesn't heal for a whole lot, but he makes allies cheaper. And you start off with the shield upgrade, which is nice. Um, hand size of six, hit points of 11, so good hand size, but um, hit points are okay. Um, I like that the hand size still stays for five, two thwart, two attack, two defense. He's a pretty rounded hero, but that I can do this all day ability um, to discard one to re ready looks really powerful in a leadership type deck or a deck that's kind of built around. Um, boosting your hero to do additional things. So that would be nice. All right, let's talk about Agent 13 there. We got Sharon Carter, two thwart, one attack, three health, two threat off of a scheme is nice. Um, it's, I think that's a good card, although that's fantastic. Uh, Fearless Determination, this is going to give uh, Captain America plus one thwart, which and draw a card, which is nice when you can use that other ability to make him go twice. So uh, there's two of those in the deck. We've got a heroic strike. This is a beast of an attack, six damage, and if you pay a physical resource, you stun the enemy for a cost of three. That's uh, that's nice. Um, I think that's better than Spider-Man's web kick, where you're dealing eight for three because you get this you can get the stun at the end and there's a lot of those physical generating cards in the captain america deck so and he gets three of those so that's awesome all right we got a shield block uh you can use this and prevent all damage and exhaust your shield uh, that's nice that's kind of your uh, backflip from spider-man again Shield Toss, this is another card that just looks mean. So in a multiplayer game, I'm thinking this will be pretty rough. So discard X cards from your hand and return Captain America Shield from play to your hand. Yield four damage to X enemies. So that's a pretty good way to wipe the field. There's been a lot of times where I've had, you know, like in these last playthroughs, you've got the weapons runner and the guard out there and the the vulture's got four hit points you just wipe the board and just toss that shield and take them all out and there's two of them in the deck so nice steve's apartment is a decent card um just a little little one to get out there i think help thin your deck too like it's not an expensive one you can drop out there pretty quick um the card advantage too is nice so you tap it and you're going to get a card so i like that uh, Captain America's helmet, which is another one that will kind of keep you from getting offed. Um, that's kind of a scary thing to play with. One of the things I can say is I think that that will be a nice one that you can set out there. And again, there's some deck advantage there, right? Where you take it out of your deck, maybe it's just sitting on the side. Uh, Captain America's shield, which you will start off with. Uh, plus one defense and retaliate one. That is nice. All right, then you've got some serums, some mana generators there. That's what I was talking about. There's things that generate physical resources. So you can get those out there and generate a physical resource every turn. Ooh, nice. Two of those. So then we're looking at our, oh, sorry, our leadership cards. So um, the Falcon looks pretty cool. Um, for each treachery card, when he comes out, you look at the top three cards, and for each treachery card, remove one threat from a scheme. So that's kind of a mixed bag in that you're getting rid of encounter cards, which isn't all that great. But if there are treacheries, taking that, that bonus uh, threat away is nice. Um, he's got good thwart and good attack, too. For three health, that's pretty good. Okay, Hawkeye. I don't know that I need to talk about Hawkeye. Hawkeye is fantastic, so... He's one of my favorite cards. Squirrel Girl. I was so happy to see Squirrel Girl in this set. So one thwart, one attack, two health, one damage to each enemy. Um, I don't know that it's an uber powerful card, but Squirrel Girl's awesome. So we'll, we'll just props for Squirrel Girl. Uh, Wonder Man. I'm kind of impressed that Wonder Man's in this set. So one thwart and three attack. 
and then you have to discard a card in order for him to attack. So I'm not feeling great about Wonder Man. I'd like to see what people think that have played him. I'm not feeling great about Wonder Man. Now there's a whole bunch of cards in this deck around the Avengers. Um, this one is Avengers Assemble, and you ready all your Avengers, which is interesting, and they get plus one thwart and plus one attack. So, But it's got a pretty high cost. It's got a cost of four. So... Eh, I don't know. Um, it could be good. It might be a good for a big strike once you have all those allies out there. Um, I, I don't know. It, it seems like a lot, but I don't know. I'd have to see it in play to see how it works out. Um, and then we have the Make the Call, which is from some of the old stuff. And there's a couple of those, three of those, and then two of those in the deck. Let's well, bring an ally back from the discard pile. Uh, strength in Numbers, which is a new one. Exhaust any number of allies you control. Draw a card for each ally exhausted this way. So, um, get you some card advantage. I don't know that I would do that all that often unless I was, because exhausting all my allies, unless I've got some sort of special attack that I'm planning to do, you know, um, setting yourself up for needing mana to pull off an attack. Usually using my allies is more helpful than tapping them to get a card, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, power of Leadership, which you see in the old one, give you a couple for playing leadership cards. The Quinjet I like. It's pretty interesting card. So with the Quinjet, you put it out there, and as your turn begins, it gets a counter, and then you can use those counters in the Quinjet to pay for an Avenger coming out. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, it gets the card out of your hands for a while. I don't know that it's going to be out there long enough to get deck advantage using it because you probably won't rotate through your deck that fast. Um, but it's an interesting way to pay for cards. And I think there's three of those in the deck. Um, then we get back to some of the standard cards. Right, You got Mockingbird. She's not an Avenger, so a lot of that Avenger stuff is off the table for her. But there's the stun when she comes in. You got your couple of mana cards, and there's all three of those. So that's a new one. That's Avenger's Tower. Um, if each of your allies has Avenger trait, increase your ally limit by one. So you can go up to four, which is cool. Um, exhaust Avenger's Tower, reduce the cost of the next Avenger ally played this phase by one. So if you're playing a very heavy Avenger ally deck, uh, this could be really useful. And it's got a low cost. That's a nice card. Uh, let's see here. We have Honorary Avenger, where you can assign somebody the Avenger trait. I'm guessing that's how you get Mockingbird to be an Avenger, let's say. I thought she was an Avenger at one point. Or was she West Coast? Do West Coast not count as full-fledged Avengers? Or are we Avengers from the movie? I don't know. I guess I'm kind of confused at this point as to who's an Avenger and who's not. Um, okay, so then we have, we start to get into the things that Captain America can run into, his little side deck there, right? So this one exhausts him. Um, let's see here. Or discard half the cards of your hand rounded down. So I think that's pretty rough. Uh, if you're not able to exhaust Steve Rogers and have to do the other side, I think that is a pretty rough cost to meet. So I like that one. I like that obligation. All right, then we get into the, the villain or the side scheme card. We've got Baron Nemo is the, the nemesis here. Um, he's got a Hydra task force. So when revealed in player order, each player discards the top card of the encounter deck and takes one damage for each boost icon discarded this way. This one just sounds evil. Um, it's going to speed up. So you've got, you got the boost there. So you're going faster through the encounter deck. When this comes out, everybody is potentially taking damage and pulling cards off of the encounter deck so that is awful which is good that's what those decks are supposed to be so i'm, I'm happy with that baron zemo himself one scheme three attack and quick strike he seems all right i think the real tough part there is the while baron zemo is engaged you cannot thwart that looks rough being able like stopping you from thwarting um would be in many situations for me a game breaker like 
I don't know how I get through the next turn because that would totally wreck what I wanted to do. So you'd end up being, you would be a mandatory target to take out for the next round. Well, a lot of those folks end up being that way, but just, yeah, you'd have to go. Uh, Hydra Soldier, another one with Guard, uh, which is annoying. And then you get an additional encounter card, which is even more annoying. So, yep. And there's a couple of them. Let's help you burn that encounter deck. Uh, and then Hail Hydra gets you another Hydra folk out there. So, uh, decent card. So, okay. So, that's going to make up really the Captain America deck. And then uh, the little Nemesis pack that goes with Captain America. And after that, we start to get into the cards that come that you can be used as a general part of the set, right? So, we've got a list here of everything that comes in the deck. And we'll go over to, these are the side cards, which I'm, I'm pretty impressed with too. So Enraged looks really nice. I like this card. Um, attached ally gets two attacks. So you can, while the Hulk seems like it would be like the perfect thing to put on, the Hulk just seems too, um, what do I want to say? He goes away too fast. I don't know that I want to spend this on the Hulk. But the Hulk doing like five damage because he get plus two attack just seems beastly so um that might end up using that with the hulk so there's a couple of those in there three of those in there this seems like a really powerful card to me so you have followed so you put followed on a side scheme and when that side scheme goes away you deal four damage to an enemy so the number of side schemes that i make go away during a game tends to be fairly high in a multiplayer game Seems like that would be crazy because they're out there all over the place um, and a cost of one. It's that just seems like a powerful a must have card for a justice deck. And look, at there's three of those in this deck. So um, that's a good card, in my opinion. I mean, let me know. Maybe I'm wrong. Is it not working out for you? I'd like to know people have played it and what they think. Um, expert defense. So I haven't played a protection deck yet. Um, Really, I don't use defense a whole lot, and maybe that's a failing in how I play. Maybe Captain America is really good for that. I don't know. Um, so I'm not impressed with this card. Uh, to get plus three defense, eh? I don't know. We'll see. Is somebody out there doing a lot of defense? Is that like somebody have a primary defense deck? Not something I've, I think I see. This card I'm really happy with. Also, um, it's a basic card that you can put out there and it gets three mental counters. It's kind of like Spidey's Web Shooters, right? But this gives you, rather than, a, I think Web Shooters give you a wild resource, this gives you a mental resource, but it's kind of a nice little pool out there. And it's a little bit more expensive, it costs two. Um, but I, I like this card. Um, I think this might replace some basic cards in, in a different deck. Uh, the ability to pull that additional resource over so you can use it on another round is uh, very powerful, especially when you have heroes like, let's say, She-Hulk that doesn't get a whole lot of cards to be able to use when she's in Hulk form, um, which, I don't know, enhanced awareness for She-Hulk, I'm not sure that that goes together, but end up using it. So, um, so that's it for the Captain America deck. We're to the end of it. Um, really impressed with this deck. Looking forward to, I think my Miss Marvel one's coming pretty quick here. And then, you know, Thor pretty soon and Black Widow pretty soon. There's just so much neat stuff coming out. So that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Thanks for watching this episode. Please leave any comments or suggestions you have below. If you like this episode, make sure to click on that like button. And you can click on the crazy jackalope to stay up to date with any new content that rolls out.